We begin with news in the region. Jailed former Brazilian president Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva will step aside so his running mate can stand for the presidency in next month's elections. Lula, by far Brazil's most popular politician, hoped the Supreme Court would agree to an appeal for more time to switch the head of the Workers' Party ticket after the top electoral court last week banned him from running due to a corruption conviction and gave him 10 days to remove his name. Ten days after three temporary judges were appointed to help with the massive backlog of cases in Barbados, the plan has been shelved for now. This is according to the island's Attorney General, Dale Marshall. The temporary appointments were part of the Barbados Labour Party's manifesto promise to deal with the pileup of cases in the courts. According to the Attorney General, to date there were 1,030 criminal matters waiting to be heard, dating back to 2004, while there were thousands of civil matters from far back as the 1980s. Internationally, Russia is the main suspect in U.S. agencies' investigations of mysterious illnesses in American personnel in Cuba and China, NBC News has reported. Evidence from communication intercepts has pointed to Moscow's involvement during the investigation, including the FBI, CIA and other agencies, NBC reported, citing three unidentified U.S. officials and two other people briefed on the probe. U.S. officials said in July that they are still investigating health problems at the U.S. Embassy in Cuba and do not know who or what was behind the mysterious illnesses which began in 2016 and have affected 26 Americans. A suicide bomber in Afghanistan killed at least 32 people and wounded more than 120 at a demonstration on Tuesday on the highway between the eastern city of Jalalaba and the main border crossing into neighboring Pakistan. Officials said Tuesday's attack targeted a gathering to protest against a police commander. The blast scattered the crowd, numbering hundreds of people, but more gathered after the explosion to continue the protest. The details of the complaint against the police chief were not immediately clear. I am Davina Samaru. Back to you, Neil.